So the Marshall Times are here at Bloodstock Festival 2018 with Democritus. How's it going? Going very well, thank you. Awesome. Um, I understand you guys have played already? Yeah, we played at midday on the new Blood stage. Awesome. How did that go for you guys? So good. Yeah? Uh, just, I think one of the, a, we kind of plugged ourselves over the, the Bloodstock forums and stuff like that. So I noticed that we were getting a bit of a buzz. There were people definitely saying that they were going to come and check us out. I, I tend to aim low with expectations. It leaves me easily pleased. So I, I was beginning to think that we might not have an empty tent, and we didn't. And then the rain came and it got even fuller. So it's pretty much been, as Joey's said, it's been our best promoter. Yeah. Best, <laughs> best, best pro we've ever had. It's like a good, good time. Um, Possibly you don't get out of home though. No. No. Well, <laughs> not recently. <laughs> it, it, for me personally, I've been coming here as a, a punter for 10 years and the over I've just been so emotional over this because I love this place so much yeah and to finally get the chance to to, to apply the only thing I'll admit I'm semi-decent at has just been so emotional yeah it, it's it's been just amazing and we've been so well looked after from all the crew and, and PR staff and you know, like Rachel Harrison's helped to say getting us no distance thing so yeah overall we're just humbled and happy to be here it's been amazing awesome so it's fair to say maybe things might be quite looking up for you as you start sort of expanding coming bigger as a result of Bloodstock do you reckon? Ho hopefully yeah I mean like, we, we always want to try and get gigs out elsewhere outside of Wales trying to grow bigger because ultimately it's it's what we really enjoy and other people seem to like it as well so we can't really complain and yeah we just want to try and get bigger and bigger if, if, if we can um, just take every uh, it's all about taking opportunities um, you know I, this has been the biggest opportunity we've had today I would like to hope that we've made a positive use out of it so um, we'll, we'll see what comes you know I, like I said I aim low and, and the expectations that have come off it have just been so much more than even I, I hoped for as well We'll see where it takes us. Awesome, awesome. Um, I understand that you guys come here by um, Metal for the Masses. Yes. Yes, yeah. awesome. How was the competition for that? It's quite a lot of stiff competition. Very much so. It always is. The South Wales scene is buzzing right now. Um, it's, it's really, really close knit um, from bands like the Grona. We've got that. To, what, to what I've lovingly referred to as the death, Welsh Death Metal Crew. Yeah. Um, that are all here this weekend. So there's ourselves, there's Cranial Separation on the Jaeger stage, Sodomized Cadaver are playing later today as well. It's it, the Welsh scene is as healthy as anything. From you know, if you want black metal, there's a grown up. If you want a bit of sludge, there's God Killer. There's just a bit of everything in the South Welsh scene, and we all kind of tend to be looking after each other as well. Um, yeah, I think that was what's so nice about the final is the fact we were in the final with a lot of people who, yeah, we were competing, but we were also really good friends with. Yeah. So there was that healthy, healthy thing of um, competition there, but we all knew a each of us get on really well. Each of us are all very capable musicians and even though different kind different styles of music slightly we're all still doing it for the love of it and we're all mates respect. and that's all I think is the word. Yeah. But we all respect each other. Yeah. And that's that's not always been the case. Certainly in the South Welsh scene it's not always been the case. Um, but it has been over the last like three, four years it's become a proper tight knit community where the bands love each other what everyone's doing. Even going over the bridge to like Bristol, we could we we clash with more is head and onslaught um, with our set time but we've still all been plugging each other because we enjoy what we do yeah. we enjoy what they do and it just makes sense for all to, to plug what you can and, and be positive with your contribution mm. awesome that's what it's all about so for anyone who came over to New Blood today and have no idea who the Democrats are could you maybe tell us a wee bit more about the band Zach you've been super quiet coming in <laughs> Um, <laughs> not paying attention. <laughs> Why did we bring him here again? <laughs> now, jokes aside, jokes aside, we said um, for anyone who came over to New Blood stage today and have no idea what democracy is, you maybe tell us a little bit about yourselves. Uh, well, uh, about our sound or just 
Uh, and just, just in general, your sound, any releases you have, maybe anything that you've got coming up? Um, I think we've got, like, um, I think if anyone's, like, first hearing us, I think, kind of, like, um, kind of just put everything in the pot when it comes to metal, like, any stuff going on, like, um, like, we've got, like, um, like, you've got Power Metal, got Steve, um, like, you've got, like, the root side, that, um, especially with the new songs as well. Well, and we've kind of wedged ourselves into the, the melodic death metal slot, yeah. which uh, has worked in our favour in terms of getting us shows, because promoters do like to, to pigeonhole, yeah. it makes it easier, it makes their job easier in order to plug the shows and, and people know what they're expecting, yeah. but at the same time we have kind of branched out, we don't limit ourselves with what we want to put into our music, we write for ourselves, we're not writing for anyone else, if anyone else else does it like it, it's a bonus. Um, so we've incorporated stuff, as, as Sam said, from power metals in there, um, plenty of melodic death metal from like soil work, insomnia, more um, metals in there, but then it's, it's branched out into some of the more heavy classic death metal stuff as well, like cannibal books and obituary, there's, there's all sorts in there. And I'd say coming here as someone who joined the band you know, about two years after it was formed. Obviously, I hadn't really heard them. I'd heard a couple of recordings of them, but you know, it's like sometimes you, you listen to a band and record, and then you actually see them, and you're like, well, they don't really sound much like. Is it? So I heard Steve's voice, and I saw him. I was like, there's no way this guy's got a set of pipes and them like that. And when he, he, he first he first sang at practice, like Karen and myself, by the guitarist, our jaws just dropped. We were like, looked at each other, and we said, oh my god, you know. And so for me personally, like the older stuff to start again EP, that was all written before uh, myself, Kerry and Zach joined, it was written by our bassist and Steve. And so I can say, say I'm a fan of that kind of stuff, but the newer stuff we moved on to is more what the newer lineup of Democracy is all about. So there's, there, it, is, it, it is different, but as we, we showcase many new stuff today anyway, so people can get a taste of that. And we're working on our next EP uh, called Damnation, which should be out hopefully by the end of the year if all goes to plan but you know these, these things can take a long time especially and we'd rather release something that is um, especially given our care he likes to take his time with these things bless him is how long is a piece of string when it comes to he's a perfectionist such a perfectionist you know, at least it means at the end of the day you're going to have a top quality record to yeah out. and it, it's, it's all going to be self-produced self-recorded so yeah because we're fortunate we've got two people in the band Zach and Karen who are both fully qualified to, to do that they've both done their degrees in it so yeah we, we, we've got two very good sound engineers in the band who know their stuff so it's, uh, it's even better you have a broad yeah. skill set yeah <laughs> Because the band is evolving, so we'll look to the future now a little bit. What's your guys' plan after Bloodstock? Where do you kind of want to go and obviously get this album, this EP out? Yeah, get the EP out because we're already working on new stuff as well. On top of that, to, for the next recording, it's we've been pretty relentless. I mean, I'll have full, we'll have full songs through from Zach um, on, on an almost weekly basis, and it's kind of like at points I'm struggling to keep up with. Keep writing lyrics for it. <laughs> I, I think we've got about 15 songs uh, that we've currently got fully written, which just aren't in the set yet, which we need to you know, perfect and just you know, kind of tweak here and there. But then also, we need uh, we to quality yeah. control, we'll read yeah. what we can, and if it's good enough, then yeah. we'll, we'll keep it in. But yeah, it's basically just onwards and upwards, trying to take whatever opportunities we can we can grab a hold of. Yeah. For me, it's getting more shows in England, you know, trying to branch out of Wales, move further north, just trying to build more. Of a fan base, but it's come and visit us up in Scotland. Yeah, absolutely. we'd love to, we'd absolutely love to. Hell, you know, I'll um, have you, I'll have you, have you. I'll tell folk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Book us and they will come. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, on that note, I think we'll call it a day, though, guys. Brilliant. Awesome. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Thank you very much.